So today we're extending the seating area, making it a bit more comfy. Finally. A little bit more chill, a bit more relaxed, because it's at the minute, it's like sitting at an office. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna extend that. Just masked up the window, Leanne's gonna stain that up for us. So basically we're just gonna extend it from here to there. And then gonna to attempt to make a little shoe rack there. Sorry, Let's like get this amazing. built. We've had a bit of a mess with our stain because we couldn't remember which one we've got to buy these. So Bill bought one and it turned out like that. I'm pretty sure this is the one, so I remember it looking nice. It's like blue, yeah. yeah. So what I'm gonna do first is unscrew this panel. And because there's a slight lip on here, I've got to take the lip off and then make that so it's flat with the seat so we can sit on that. And then I'm going to build another frame up, create a frame, uh, screw that onto the frame that's already there, and then board this side out, and then this side going to make some shelves to put some shoes in. Okay, so window has had its first couple of coats of stain, also stained the second shelf to match this one, I need to give this one another coat as well. Right, so what I've got to think about here is how deep I want the cabinets or the shelves to be so the shoes can fit in there. So basically I'm going to make a frame from there, there, literally another one of these to fit next to this, and this is gonna be open. So it should be pretty simple. So, the frame's made, well, the, the top bit of the frame has been made. Um, so I've just screwed it to the battens that are already there for now, and now I'm gonna measure which battens. I'm gonna bring two battens down there, and then to this bit, and then another bit of support there, and maybe one down the middle to put the shelves on. I didn't buy enough of the 2x4 wood that I was going to use, so I've got some 2x1. So I'm hoping that'll be strong enough. If I just support it there, I'm just going to L bracket it on there and then just brace it up so it's strong. Hopefully, it should be strong enough, we won't be falling on our ass. This bit under here is going to be a bit of storage and then that's going to be a shoe rack there slanting down. I've left it quite big because just so you can get your boots in there and that. You know, I'm doing it for you. <laughs> All for you. All for me. That's the moment of truth. The test. I haven't finished yet, but... Does it feel alright? Sturdy as fuck. Nice. Oh, it's so much better with a seat there though. Yeah, it makes more sense. So much better. Now you can sit right on the edge over there. Lovely view of the houses. So the main structure is done for the extended seat. All we've got to do now is make a little face frame. Make a little face frame for the front. Um, put a shelf there for the shoes, <laughs> for the shoe rack. Board out the front. And then yeah, get it painted. And then this is just gonna be a solid platform. Still gonna be able to lift that seat up there. And yeah, it should make it a bit more practical. Put our shoes in there and that, make it look a bit more tidy, and we'll have a bit more seating. Lovely. Look at that. Look at that. It's a very shoe basic rack. at the minute, so we're gonna frame that. I'm gonna put a shoe across the front there, so it'll be it. And then I'm gonna face frame the whole lot. So we're just deciding whether to have the bit where you can take the trainers out, like the front of the cupboard, on this bit, which means you'd be able to just put it in really easy, or have it on this side, but then you lose out that bit of easiness and space. Mm. I don't know. I think do it at the front, because then... It just means you'll have to open the door up to get your trainers and shoes out, which ain't a big deal. No. Yeah, I've 
I think front. I don't think it make a big because difference. Because even it doesn't really matter. Like you can just lean over and gra open the door, grab your shoes, and then put them on in here. True. Like, not, like, and it keeps it out of the way then, all the mess. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, Liam wants another archway. What do you mean, obviously? Liam wants another archway on it, so I've got to make another arch. So we've got two archways in the same seat, you know. Are you no, sure? Are you, are you sure you don't want it nice and square? Would no, just be nice. Listen, I was meant to get my shower arch. I didn't get that. So this is payment. Do you really want another arch? Yes. That look right? Yes, because you can't see both arches at one time. So when you open the door, it'll be a nice... Here. Oh, Jesus Christ, what are you, the arch, please? <laughs> Just get on with it. <laughs> Right, so what I'm doing to find the arch in the middle of the board is I've marked out where I want the face frame to start and the face frame to end. And then I found the middle of that. And then I'm gonna put a bit of string somewhere there and then make it so the length of the string is to the length of that from the middle to one side. And then keep the string tight and just pull it round and that should create the perfect arch for Leanne. Right, so I've got the screw in the middle, tied the wire that I've got around it, and then now I'm gonna secure this to it, so it lines up perfectly with one edge. So we've got a little hole in it because that was originally one of our seating uh, pads, wasn't it? Upcycling. Yeah, so we're using the wood that we have left over. But I'm really happy with that, are you? Yeah, I love it. Just going around the edges now in the little screw holes, I'm filling it in. I'm using a flexible filler. So hopefully, because on the walls we filled and it cracked everywhere, so hopefully this won't crack. And this will be all right for the seating areas, that won't crack when we're moving and driving and all that. So yeah, we'll see how we get on with this. So the seating area is now complete. Finished it. Well, paint it. Gotta paint it, but the main, the main bulk of it's done. So I put the foam on. This is just temporary foam for now um, until we get the other one that we've got upholstered. Uh, I've put a lip here just to keep the cushion in. Filled all the screw holes. Now it looks like we've got two dog beds. <laughs> so Leon is just finishing the final little bit of trim on the shower, staining that. Um, I've still got to frame the coffee table worktop, but the window sill's all stained. So the seating area is starting to take a bit more shape. All we've got to do now is just rub down these um, little bits there and paint this front bit. The side bit's been painted, but we're not happy with how this looks, so we're gonna rub that down again and uh, get it all flat. So much better than what it was, because what it was here was just wasted space. It was just literally just dead space. You couldn't use it for anything. We just had a basket there. But now we can sit there in the summer, put our legs over the side, <laughs> we can lay down. <laughs> Now that is so much better because in the evenings Bill will sit here and I'll sit here and it's just like annoying because when you've been sitting there for a while your back aches. And it feels a lot bigger, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does it just, for some reason it feels bigger in this, this area because it, oh. know, it just looks better. It does. So that's us for today. And then I want to do the skirting, change the skirting up to here and change that to a metal one maybe. And yeah, just, just a few, few more little bits to do. Yeah. But, mainly that it's usable it's functional so so this is the seating area it's been finished now we've recently painted it still got to finish the filler bit 
Still got to finish some of the filler off, but this, the front's painted, shoes are in, and it's looking really tidy. So thank you for watching this week's video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>